Hello everyone, Tim Kelly, Director of Personal Training for Club 16 Trevor Linden Fitness. For today's upper body focused workout, you'll need a pair of dumbbells. This circuit will have three rounds, eight exercises. We'll do a quick warm up and then we'll do each exercise back to back, taking a break in between each round. So grab yourself a pair of dumbbells and let's get started. Okay everyone, here's today's warm up. We've got two rounds, 10 overhead press, 10 arm swings, 10 pull aparts, 20 arm circles, and then we'll finish out with 10 push-ups to shoulder taps. So the overhead press, let's go feet shoulder width apart, and bring those arms out nice and wide, arms up overhead, bring the elbows down towards the ribs, really pulling the shoulder blades together, and then back up. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one and 10 arm swings. So we'll do a light squat as the arms go back, and as we come up, we'll bring the arms up overhead, and then right back down. Here we go, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Pull apart. So let's go arms powered all to the ground, Hands are out in front. We're gonna pull those elbows back, shoulder blades together, and then reach back out. Here we go, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Arm circles. Let's go backwards first. Nice big rotations all the way around. We'll do 10 backwards and then 10 forward. Here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good push ups. Let's go ahead and get on the ground. Push up position. Hands about shoulder width apart. Two ways to do them standard push ups, or you can always just do them from your knees. Lower down, elbows close to your ribs. Up, tap the opposite shoulder. Push, and then tap. Okay, standard, up on your toes. Here we go, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and 10, good, back up. And back to the top, start with the overhead press. Again, bring those elbows out nice and wide, and let's go overhead, one, two, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Arm swings. Okay. As we do a light squat down, arms go back. As we come up, arms all the way overhead. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Pull apart. Okay, hands out in front. And we're going to bring those elbows back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then push back out. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and ten. Okay, arm circles. Okay, ten forward, ten back. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Backward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Push up the shoulder tap. Back on the ground, either standard or from your knees. Let's push and tap. One, two, three, four, Nine, last one, and 10. All right, take a quick break. Let's come back and start the workout. Okay, everyone, here's today's workout. 10 curl to twist press, 10 rope to fly, 10 forward press, 20 wood chops, 10 hammer curl press to extension, 20 single arm bridge press, 10 overhead sit-ups, and then we'll finish with everyone's favorite, 10 renegade rows. 
So for all these exercises, you can put your feet two different ways. Standard, you can go feet about shoulder width apart, toes are forward or slightly out, but if you feel yourself rocking back and forth too much or if you have any lower back issues, go ahead and split that stance. It's going to make you a little bit more stable, especially for when we do the overhead exercises. So the first one is going to be a curl to twist press. So we're going to go palms forward, elbows in nice and close. We're going to curl up at the top of the curl. We're going to twist overhead, reverse it as we come back down to our starting point. So it's going to go curl, twist overhead, reverse, and then start again. Ten of these. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Halfway there. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, last one, and ten. Excellent. Next exercise, row to fly. So we're going to go feet close together, slight bend in your knee. We're going to hinge at the hip forward, nice flat back. We're going to row. So go up and then down. Then we want to bend our elbows as we go out. So it's going to go up, down, bend the elbows, out, and then back to our starting point. Here we go. Up, down, out. One, two. Three, four, five, halfway there. Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and ten. Excellent. Next exercise, forward press. So we want to make sure we're nice and stable. Core's tight. We're going to press forward and then bring it right back. So punch it out and then bring it back. One. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Excellent. Wood chops. I'll drop one down. Grab the dumbbell with both hands. And feet about shoulder width apart. We're going to keep those arms straight as we come down towards the knee. When we come up, all the way across the body, pivoting the outside foot, and then back down. All the way up, and then back down. Here we go. One. Make sure you pivot that foot. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. And ten. Good. Other side. Again, coming down towards the knee, keeping that back hand straight, all the way up, and then back. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Nine, last one, and ten. Excellent. Next one. Go ahead and grab the dumbbell. Yeah, it's going to be a hammer curl. So we're going to keep those palms facing each other. Curl, press, and then we're going to drop the hands back for a tricep extension, back up, and then start at the beginning. So hammer curl, press, extension, and then reverse. Here we go. And that's one. Five, halfway there. Make sure the core is nice and tight. Six. Seven. Almost there. Eight. Nine. Last one. And ten. Excellent. We'll go ahead and get on the ground. And we want to go palms forward. First thing we're going to do is get into a bridge. So push those feet into the ground, raise the hips up, arms a little way overhead, and we're going to drop one at a time. So bring the elbow down towards the ground, push it back to the center, and then alternate sides. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, 
nine last one, and 20. Good, drop one of those dumbbells, and we're gonna do an overhead sit-up. So, arms are all the way extended, feet are up in front, we're gonna come all the way up, head goes in between your arms, and then back down. It's really pushing into the floor, all the way up, and then back down. Up. One. Push-up position, and we're gonna have dumbbells on the ground. Palms are gonna face each other. Take a little bit wider of a stance than your normal. That way we get a good base of support. We're gonna push, lift up one side, push, and then alternate. We're doing five per side. Here we go. And up. One. about 30 seconds, grab some water, let's come back and start round two. Excellent. 
five, halfway there. Six. Seven. Eight, almost there. Nine, last one. And ten, good, on the ground. Okay, we'll grab those dumbbells, palms are forward, feet are flat, dumbbells are up, hips are up off the ground, nice and tight, squeeze the glutes, drop one down, and press, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, halfway there, keep going, one, Last round, let's have a nice strong finish. Start with a curl to twist press. Again, so let's go palms forward. Again, curling up and overhead. That's one. Here we go. Hammer curl, press and extension. Here we go. 
go. We can stagger those feet, make sure we're nice and stable. Let's go hammer curl, shoulder press, tricep extension. That's one. so much for watching. Stay healthy, everyone.